Hey everyone. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to do another speed test uh, for the Starlink satellite. The last time I did the speed test, uh, people commented that my speeds were lower than what I should be expecting. Now, I guess to me, they were astronomically high because I was so used to running internet off my phone that I thought anything was an upgrade. But it should have been faster. Um, I picked a couple of random speed tests before and I did it uh, again today. And I have noticed that the speed is higher. Now I don't know if that's because of software updates, if uh, the satellite has now positioned itself better, I don't know. But all I can show you is what the tests are and what the numbers come back as. So I'll do one here. So I don't think that last time I did the speed test, my speeds ever broke 100 megabytes a second. I'm trying to remember, they definitely didn't get this high. Um, so I'm looking in the range of 150 uh, consistently. This is also in the middle of a work day. Uh, so internet is usually, it's not any faster than normal at this time of day. If anything, you can expect slower speeds. I'm getting a decent ping. Uh, especially for satellite and upload is low uh, I'd say that's pretty low but I mean it's functional so it's not bad at all uh, so anyway my download speed which really is the most important aspect um, is uh, consistently high I'm gonna skip over to another one uh, just for consist uh, just to you know get an average sorry about the color uh, I obviously ran one before uh, just to make sure this website was gonna work so we'll just hit it again So the ping uh, between the two websites is very consistent. It's in the 50, 55 range. Uh, my download speed is showing a lot faster right now. A lot faster, uh, almost what, double. Let me just flip back. Not double, but consistently faster. And upload is very similar to the last test. You know what? Testing, it's always good to have a couple of tests under your belt um, just to make sure that we're going to get consistent results here. And it's looking like we already broke the 200 uh, megabytes a second. So it's looking like it's going to be like it was last time. Slightly slower and the ping is slightly higher. But of course, with any internet, you're going to get a variation. I think satellite will always be worse for that variation. But now the upload speed's faster. Download speed, while well, slightly slower than it was last time, still very high. And ping is still functional, and you can definitely game with a ping like that. I am good to jump back here one more time and do this one more time again. Like I said, uh, multiple tests usually are better than just one. So this one, very quickly, um, jumped above 100 megabytes a second. So these test results are way faster than the uh, first tests I did. At the end of this video, I'll show you that first test just so that you can compare the numbers. Uh, they were way lower than this. So once again, uh, anybody who knows uh, the company that does Starlink knows that software updates are a big part of what they do. This could easily be software updates that are bumping up these numbers. Also, uh, the company said that they were going to be constantly launching more satellites uh, into low orbit and as they launched more we would we customers would be seeing better uh, results all around now uh, a lot of that speculation was that we were going to see less disconnections because at the start there were so few uh, satellites up there that there were going to be blind spots so they thought I have never actually witnessed that uh, my uptime is 100% of the time. I don't have any obstructions, nor do I have any time where I'm not within range of a dish. I'm in Nova Scotia, Canada, uh, to give you an idea. So, uh, yeah, my biggest thing was slightly slower download speeds than what were what was being suggested, but they're well within a good range here. So anyway, this is the new updated speed test. This is November 12th, my birthday, 2021. Those who are still waiting for the dish just know that it's completely worth it.
These speeds are awesome. And if you're somebody like me who doesn't have uh, the option for fiber op or cable or any other type of internet, uh, you finally have an option. This is a really, really good internet and uh, I couldn't be happier I got it. Uh, so thanks for joining me.